Can you please give us an example of why community providers are important? The reality today is that we're seeing less and less community providers. The practices obviously are being bought and sometimes closed. And why is it super important that we keep community providers? Clearly, the, the research has demonstrated it's cheaper. It's cheaper to provide care in a community setting. It certainly speaks to the idea of having people have access to doctors in their community that speaks their languages and that is providing care in a manner that is culturally sensitive. And I know that firsthand. Right. So my background is I'm from Haiti, so I speak the language and I know these will be very difficult to explain situations. But let me try one for you. In our language, Creole, we refer to the chest as stomach. And now here we go. Think of a person who is from Haiti running to the ER because they are having chest pain. And they get to the ER, they don't speak English, they're not well educated, and they're referring to their chest as their stomach. So all the conversation is going around and talking about stomach when they're actually having chest pain. If it were not for the long-term standing of the Haitian population in healthcare, especially in the Brooklyn area, in New York, for example, all these people would not probably be treated for what it is that they came to the ER for. Because when they're really referring to chest pain, and everybody would understand that they're having stomach pain. So when you have a lot of Haitian doctors and nurses, like we do here in New York, they can intervene and explain the reason that these people are showing up to the ER is really that they're having chest pain. So that's the best example of providing care in a culturally sensitive manner that I can think of, right? By community doctors that have the same cultural background and speak the same language as their patients.